There's a few things you need to know if your favorite four-legged companion is going to join you on a private jet flight. If you have a pet, you know how tough it may be to travel with them in various ways. Hotels and resorts aren't always pet-friendly, and if you're flying commercial, not every pet gets to ride with you inside the cabin. Often, pets are relegated to the belly of the plane to ride with the cargo. Not to mention the looks you often get from your fellow passengers for bringing your furry friend along. That's where private aviation comes in. Here are the key things you need to know before loading your golden doodle onto your Gulfstream. Before we go deeper, we'd love it if you join our community and smash that subscribe button and hey, hit that like button too. All right, back to the story. The first thing to know is that if you're going to take your dog on a private jet, it needs to be healthy. Most share services, charter, and jet card companies discourage bringing pets aboard the plane unless they're in tip-top shape. Think about it. Even though you'll have more elbow room flying private than you would in first class, a jet is still a small space. It's not some place you want to be if your dog is vomiting or worse. The next thing to consider is where your dog is going to use the bathroom. Even on a private plane, getting from point A to point B can take a long time. And while your private jet charter will have a place for you to use the bathroom, it's not likely they'll be equipped to handle your dog's bathroom needs. You can ease your stress and the stress your pet is under by making sure to throw a few pee pads in your Louis Vuitton so your friend doesn't make an expensive mess on the plane. Anyone who's traveled with small children knows that having your ears pop can be alarming or uncomfortable. If you've ever heard a screaming baby on a plane, it's probably because the child's ears were popping. But what about your dog's ears? Will your dog's ears pop on your private flight? According to veterinarians, the ears of dogs are built much like our own. The animal may suffer severe discomfort and even injury to their inner ear if pressure is not equalized for them. Throughout your ascent and descent, it's recommended that you give your pet a treat and a sip of water. In the same way that we humans pop our ears, this equalizes the pressure in their ears. If you have a dog that's near and dear to your heart, here's why you might want to choose private travel over flying commercial. Two simple words, safety and comfort. On a private flight, you'll be able to bring along more things from your dog's everyday life, like bedding, toys, strollers, and extra food. You'll also have your dog with you at all times, so you'll be assured your dog is safe and happy. Your dog will also be more relaxed since it won't be separated from you and placed in a noisy cargo hold. But what about you? Would it be worth it to you to book a flight if your dog could fly in peace and comfort too? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.